Greetings, Fashion Tech class. I'm here to talk to you today about Excel. This is a program that's not easy to learn by yourself, but uh, have no fear. I'm going to show you all the shortcuts and tricks to help you get through this program. There's going to be, uh, once you learn this program, you're not even going to remember a time when you didn't know how to use Excel. It's going to change your life. So here's what we're going to do. First, I'm on the Blackboard page for our class, and I'm going to click on uh, the lab folder here under course content and we're going to um, navigate to our corresponding classwork for Excel 1. This is where you're going to upload your work. Um, in here we're going to upload our work uh, right here where it says classwork 8 assignment. We have an example here of what the homework should look like. Now this is a PDF but uh, this is for reference only. You are not going to upload a PDF uh, when you finish this Excel assignment. You are going to uh, upload the Excel workbook, but this uh, was just a visual reference for formatting. Um, over here, we also have uh, a nice PDF here, which will give you all of the, a summary of how to use all the things I'm gonna talk about today. Um, all right, let's get started. The first thing we're going to do is open Excel. So I'm going to, I'm on a PC, so uh, it may not look exactly the same as yours if you're using an Apple computer, but it will be close enough. I'll point out the differences as we come along to them. Uh, we're going to open up a blank workbook here. What's the first thing we do when we open any program or any file? We've created a new workbook. Uh, we want to save this where we can find it. So I'm going to go to my file and go down to save as and I'm going to um, browse my computer for my, uh, my fashion tech uh, folder and I'm going to change the name of this. Careful not to delete this period dot xlsx. I'm going to go over here and I'm going to put my last name and underscore xl1 and we're going to save it. Next thing we're going to do, look at the bottom here of your of this new workbook where it says sheet one and down here I'm going to put uh, I'm going to double click on that and type in the word sales then there's a little plus sign uh, next to that I'm going to click on that to bring out the second sheet of my workbook and I'm going to uh, delete that and type in uh, percent change then I'm going to click on the plus sign again and we'll put in a uh, markup and then we'll click on the plus sign again and click uh, mark down. And then we'll click on the plus sign again and type in units to order. And then I'm going to go back here to sales and we're going to start our work. Just a quick note here, I uh, forgot to talk about these tabs and how to save it, so I had to go back and create that section that you just saw and reinsert it into the video. Uh, when the video continues, you're going to notice these uh, tabs at the bottom will vanish, but don't worry, uh, the video will eventually catch up to where we were, and these tabs will reappear. The first thing you'll notice is it looks kind of similar to Microsoft Word here. We have um, at the top we have our control ribbon where we have uh, the ability to choose our font type, our font size, we can make it bold, italics, or underline. This little function right here, this is our borders. This is a very important uh, drop-down that we'll be using quite a bit. If you do not see this drop-down, it might be because you have uh, your Excel as a window and maybe you have something else open like uh, uh, who knows what else you have open, but uh, you have to maximize your window in order to see this oftentimes. Uh, here we can choose the color of our background or the color of our font size. We have our regular uh, justification, left justification, uh, aligning all the text to the left or to the center or to the right. We also have the ability to, to float our text either at the top of our little space here, the middle of our space, or the bottom of our space. These are two other functions we'll be dealing with a lot called text wrap and merge and center. We have our units over here, and then we have some templates of some formatting, and we'll uh, go over those later as we get to them. Also, we have something here called an auto sum, which is uh, very useful. 
Okay, the first thing you'll notice here is this big uh, space with these grids. We have here columns, which are labeled with uh, the alphabet, A, B, C, D, E, and F. And you can s highlight the entire column by clicking on the letter. We also have rows here. Uh, these are numbered, one, two, three, and four. You can click on the entire row by clicking on the number. You can also, you'll see here, these little uh, squares. We call these cells in Excel. And you can click on any one of these cells. You can also, if you um, click and drag, you can select more than one cell. So let's take a look at this cursor here in Excel. We have about uh, five or six different uh, cursor icons or uh, cursors that we'll see in Excel. First one you'll notice is this white puffy cross. This uh, white puffy cross cursor allows us to select individual cells here. And uh, if we click and hold, we can select more than one cell. Now you'll notice here, if I click on one cell right here, uh, over here in this upper left-hand corner will tell you the letter, the column letter, and the row number of that cell. If any of you have ever played a game called Bingo or Battleship, you may recognize uh, how to find cells. You, sit, you call out the column name first, B. Let's see, I click on this cell here. If I go B and 3, you'll know that I'm talking about this cell, column B, row 3. So you'll hear me uh, periodically throughout this video talking about uh, grabbing cell, maybe C2, and dragging it over to G2, and then maybe going down to G3. So I'm at like C2 through G3. So now that I have a cell, let's say I have B2 selected, if I double click it, I will get to my uh, most common cursor type, which is a writing uh, little eye cursor here, and you'll see a blinking cursor inside that cell, and we can write something uh, in that cell. You see, I've written here pizza. You also notice up here in the function bar, we have the same word that I just wrote here is also appearing up here in the function bar. So whenever you click a cell here, so I've clicked on C2 here, if I click on this cell, if I click on the function bar, I can also uh, write up here and it will appear in the cell. You can do it either way, it doesn't matter. Um, once I have this cell, so we have the puffy cross cursor, we also have the, uh, the eye cursor for writing. Uh, we also, you'll notice, if you go down to this bottom center of the cell, you will see a little move symbol, which will allow you to actually click and drag and move the cell to anywhere you want on the screen. This is very useful when you want to uh, move cells around. You'll also notice, and let me show you one of the truly uh, special features of Excel here. If I move my cursor to the lower right-hand uh, corner of my cell, you'll see a little dot here. On a PC, it looks kind of like a chocolate chip. On a Macintosh, it looks kind of like a blueberry. Anyway, uh, when you hover your cursor over that, it turns into a solid black cross. This is, uh, if you click on this little dot right here and drag, you can do an instant copy and paste uh, as much as you want, down and over. Isn't that kind of neat? I'm gonna hit Control Z, as you can with all of the other programs to undo what I just did. You can keep hitting Control Z all the way back to the beginning if you like. Um, here's another thing you can do. Let's say uh, like pizza. Let's see, I want to have a uh, Coke too. So if I were to click on this cell that has the word Coke and drag this, go to the bottom right hand corner of that cell and drag that out, you can see I've dragged out, I've copied those words, right? Now if I go back and take my puffy white cross and click on both of these cells, if I click on pizza and drag it over Coke, I have both of these cells. Now if I go to my little uh, corner dot here and drag this down, you'll notice it is copying that pattern over and over again. If any of you have ever uh, had to type out words over and over again, uh, you'll never have to do that again. Once you know how to do Excel, you can. Um, it's very useful. You can instantly create these uh, patterns of words. Excel always wants to help you. For example, if uh, you write something like uh, Monday, right? Um, can you guess what will happen if I drag this chip down? Excel already knows you're probably going to want to create uh, this pattern, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, Saturday, and Sunday, right? It's kind of useful. Never have to type out the words, the days of the week ever again. Uh, but wait, there's more, right? Uh, not just days of the week. You can try uh, months, like January. Is that how you spell that? All right, click on that. Can you guess what happens if I drag this out? You, you guessed it. It'll keep doing all those 
months. You can also drag it down to do uh, it vertically. Um, there's just almost an endless amount of lists that Excel automatically uh, knows how to do. First quarter, Excel doesn't know how to do that, does it? Let's try that. First quarter, second quarter. Look at that. Never got to type these out again. Uh, very useful. Okay. So um, it also does numbers. Let's do one, two. What happens if I drag just the number two down? I get a bunch of twos. Let's, what happens if I drag one and two? Look at that. Never have to type out numbers again. Okay. You want to do something interesting? Let's say I wanted to add all these numbers together. How do I do that? I just drag all these cells here. I've, I've selected all of them. Go to my auto sum button. Look at that. The last cell just added up all these cells. All right now we're gonna. I'm gonna show you how to use this function and create some very useful uh, tables in Excel. So let's get started here. I'm gonna take these and I'm going to uh, delete them, and we're gonna start again. What we're gonna do is we are going to uh, make this table right here. I've got one, two, three, four, five, six cells across. I've got one, two, three, four, five, six seven cells down. Let's see, am I going to remember that? There's probably no way. Let's try this again. All right, so here's my Excel. I'm going to start here. Everyone, I want you to do the same thing. Instead of starting up in the upper left-hand corner, I'm going to start over here, give myself some space at B2, right? I'm going to drag from B2 all the way out to uh, G, let's see, one, two, three, four, five, six. I'm going to drag it out to G2, and I'm going to go down to uh, G3 here. Now I've got all of these cells selected and I want to turn this into one giant cell. We do that with this merge and center button. Once I click this, I've created one giant cell here. So I'm gonna, I want all of you to type in the name of your dream company. I don't want you to use the example that is in the PDF. The PDF has XY, uh, XYX company. If you've already started the assignment, you can go back and you can edit this. Uh, everyone put in your uh, your dream company. I'm going to put mine. It's uh, Dave's uh, Happy House of uh, Impress. Okay. Now you see my text here. Uh, you'll see I don't have a border. I have my text is lying at the bottom of the cell. Over here is my formatting, right? You can change your uh, typeface to something more interesting. Um, and that's I think that's almost the same one. Something more interesting. You can change the size of your typeface here. Uh, you can take your uh, words and you can move them, align them on the left side or the right side with your justification options over here or in the center. And you can also float your text toward the top of the cell or toward the middle of the cell or toward the bottom. All this formatting, uh, you guys can use your own judgment. You, I'm sure all of you have great, a great aesthetic eye and can make these uh, tables look fantastic. I have a little bit of extra space here. I could probably make this a little bit bigger. Now, if I want to put a border around here, remember this little drop down here, this border? I can say uh, thick border on the outside. And look at that, there's my border. Now, if I don't put a border on this right here and I go to print, let's say I go to uh, print, it will show you a little preview of what your sheet will look like. You see, all those grid lines are gone. Uh, those grid lines are only there for you to, uh, to help you uh, fill out your tables. And once you go to print, it will not print those grid lines unless you put them in. And you put in the grid lines with this border option here. I've got my thick border selected, so I'm going to click on that. You'll see my border here. Now if I go to File and I say Print, I will see a border there. Okay, so let's go ahead and make our table. Uh, I've got my title here. And uh, let's see, what do we have for the PDF? We have uh, Salesperson, Daily, Weekly, Monthly, Quarterly, and Yearly. So I'm going to go over here under B4. I'm going to type in uh, salesperson. You'll notice that my text is actually going outside of the cell. Uh, this will be a problem if I uh, type in something in this next cell over here. It will eventually mask the uh, that part of my word. So after I've typed this out, I can go to up into the column. You'll notice that my cursor turns into this uh, third option. It has like a, a double-sided arrow going left and right. I can drag out the size of my columns to make it a little bigger, give myself some space. So I'm going to drag that out here. 
You can also do it over here in your rows. You can drag uh, up and down to create more space. Next, I'm going to go to cell C4 and type in the word uh, daily. And then if I want to move my cursor uh, easily to the next cell over, I just have to hit the tab key and that will go automatically to the right. If you hit the uh, enter key, you go down a cell. And I don't want to go down, I want to go to the right. So tab key daily, then we're going to type in uh, weekly, then uh, monthly, and uh, quarterly, and then uh, yearly. Okay, now uh, what I want to do is I'm going to put in uh, five names here. Uh, these names are completely random. They don't mean anything. I'm just going to pull these off the top of my head. Uh, the first name here is uh, Peter. These are going to be the people that I have employed at my happy house of Thin Crust, oh, Thin Crust maybe, and uh, Fabrics. Okay, so I forgot it has to be fashion related. Let's make this back a little bit smaller here. Okay, so Peter. Uh, next one will be uh, uh, Maddie. Then we have uh, Hannah Ann. Is it one word? Maybe? I think it's two words. And then uh, we'll have um, Victoria and uh, Barb. Okay, so now what I want to do is I want to fill in all these cells so that when I print this, I will see my border. So I'm going to grab everything from B4 here, which is my salesperson cell. And I'm going to click and drag all the way out to uh, G9. So I have all of these cells highlighted. Now I'm going to go to my border drop down and I'm going to select all borders. And what happens is now I have my grid line. So if I go over here to file and I say uh, print, you'll see my table with uh, my grid lines here. Well, I lost my thick outer border, so let's go back and uh, I'm going to grab all these cells here from B2 all the way to uh, G9 and we'll say uh, thick outside border um, and then we can dress this up uh, you guys can um, go ahead and make these look nice uh, maybe I'll have this column uh, this row right here from B4 through uh, G4 maybe I can make that into a nice uh, light orange color um, all right you can dress up your colors you can dress up your text any way you like uh, Let's put in our numbers here. So um, the first thing I want to do is I want to add units to my cells here so that I don't have uh, so that when I type in numbers, it'll automatically put our units in. So what I'm going to do here is I'm going to grab cell C5, which is my first blank cell here, drag all the way out to G9, and I'm going to go to my units area right here. And I'm going to click on this drop down and I'm going to select a uh, currency. Okay, so currency, uh, it should be uh, in US dollars. Uh, if, um, if you're from another country and your computer it, software was purchased in another country, it may default to a different a denomination of currency. So I'm gonna go over here and we're gonna change this to uh, dollars here. Oh, I changed that to accounting. Let's go back to um, currency. All right, so I'm in dollars here. So let's make up some numbers here. How much is Peter making per day? He's making, let's say, uh, five bucks. I'm gonna hit the Enter key, and you'll see when I hit Enter key, it automatically put in my uh, my dollar sign. Uh, Maddie, she's uh, she's making probably uh, eight hundred fifty bucks a day. Hannah Ann is making about uh, let's say seven hundred and twenty-five dollars a day. Victoria is making what? She's making about uh, 250 and Barb she's making uh, she's making about $525. All right, so I, I would like you to use these numbers here for your assignment. And now we're going to uh, I'm going to show you how to make Excel do math for you.
Excel is very eager to uh, do math and in order to uh, signal that you want to do math in Excel you're going to click on your cell and you're going to type in the equal sign. Equal sign signals Excel we're going to do some math. So we want to do, we want to take our daily uh, amounts that our salespeople are making and uh, how many days are in a week. In a work week we have uh, five days. So I'm going to say five multiplied by and the multiplication symbol is the asterisk key right and then it, I'm not going to type any numbers in Excel this is very easy all we have to do is click on the cell that contains the value we want to put into this equation so I, I want to multiply five days times this amount so I'm going to click on this cell which happens to be uh, column C row 5 so you see that here C5 and what I all I need to do now is hit the enter key and it does my math, right? 5 times uh, 5 is 25. So if I click on this cell here and then look up in my function bar, you will see the equation. And this is how I'm going to grade all of your Excel work is I'm going to be uh, clicking on, whoops, I'm going to be um, clicking on the cell here and um, when I click on that, I will see the equation up here. So you must have the equations in the cell. And you're, you might be thinking, oh, do I have to write down the equation for each one of these cells? You do not. Now that we have this equation in the cell, I can just grab this little uh, chip here at the lower right-hand corner. It's a blueberry if you have a Mac. And I'm going to click and drag that down. And it will drag that equation down and put that equation into all of the subsequent cells. So here, if I click on this cell, I have 5 times C6. C6 is right here, column C, row 6, right? And down here would be column C, row 7, right? So you just typed in that equation once, drag that chip down, it does all that math for you. You know, I'm going to add another um, cell down here and put uh, totals. And why don't I grab all of these cells here and let's put a border around that. We'll put a uh, all border here. We'll grab this whole thing and put a thick black border around it. These are just aesthetic choices here. You can do your own. I might even change this uh, total uh, background color to something more appropriate for totals. Okay. Now uh, let's calculate the. Uh, we'll do the totals last. So I have here. I have my weekly amounts here. So let's do monthly. To do monthly, we're going to say, we're going to click on the cell here. We're going to signal Excel. We want to do some math. We'll type in our equal sign. Then we'll type in uh, how many weeks are in a month. We have four weeks. Four multiplied by, and then I'm just going to click on my weekly cell, which happens to be D5, right? I'm not going to type in 25. I'm just going to click on the cell here, D5. Hit the Enter key. There is my value. Once I have that number there, my equation you can see in my function bar is in attached to the cell. I can grab this chip and drag it down. Bam, bam, bam. Did all my math. Now what's going on here? It looks like my table is trying to uh, tweet at me. Hashtag, hashtag. Okay. So I'm going to go up here. It, all this hashtag means is I don't have enough space for my numbers. So I'm going to go up to my columns in between my letters E and F and I'll see that little cursor with the two arrows and I will drag out my column size a little bit wider and that and then the hashtags go away and I can see my math. All right, quarterly. How many months are in a quarter? I know quarter sounds like four, but uh, actually uh, we have three months in a quarter. So we're going to say uh, three times and I'm going to click on my monthly cell which happens to be column E, row 5. Hit the Enter key. There's my value. Once I have that, I can take that chip, bam, 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 and drag it down. Oh, I'm getting tweeted at, so let's drag this column a little bit wider. There are my numbers. Yearly, how many quarters are in a year? I'm going to make it do some more math here. Equal sign. Uh, how many quarters in a year? There's four quarters. Four times this cell, which is uh, F, Five, right there it is F5 hit the enter key there's my value I'm gonna click on that cell grab that little chip and drag it down boom 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 more hashtags alright so when you do this 
here I'm gonna drag my column out, make some space for my numbers because my salespeople are making a lot of money at my pizza place. Okay, you'll notice uh, a lot of you will have little errors here or little warnings that will pop up. All this is telling you is um, the formulas you have in all these cells are not falling into this column here doesn't have the same pattern. We had five times we had five times this cell. We had uh, three times this cell, four times this cell. Anyway, we can just ignore this because it's, it's saying five, three, four. It's trying to find some kind of uh, pattern here. You can click on this and just say uh, ignore error if that bothers you. Uh, if this appears on your table, I'm not going to worry about it. So I don't think you need to worry about it. But if it does bother you, just go ahead and say ignore error. Um, down here for my totals, uh, we want to add all these numbers together. Um, I don't want to do all this math, uh, but Excel loves to do math. So I'm just going to click on this uh, total cell here. We're going to do an auto sum. So I'm going to click on this space right here, hit the auto sum, and it's going to take all the numbers in above this cell, and it's going to calculate uh, all these numbers added together. So here we go, auto sum. It's telling me equals, it has the word sum here, parentheses C5, which is this cell here, column C, row 5, to, uh, this colon means 2, C9, which is right here, that's my row. Just hit enter here, there's my number. Do I have to type in these equations again? I do not. I'm going to click on this cell, grab this little chip, and drag it to the right, bam, 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 it does all my math for me. I'm, I need to make a little bit of space to see my values. And that's how you do that, right? Now, uh, but wait, there's more. I want to create a table or a chart. So all I need to do here is I'm gonna take my little white puffy cross here. I'm gonna drag from B2 all the way down to G10, which is my entire table. And I am going to go into insert here and you see lots of little uh, columns uh, and charts. I'm, you can experiment with this, have some fun. I'm gonna just click on this basic first one here. It's called the uh, bar chart, right? We'll just go to a simple 2D chart. I'm gonna click that. And since I selected this whole table, it's gonna take all of my data uh, and it's gonna make a little chart here. So I'm, here's my move symbol. I'm gonna move this down to uh, some place more appropriate. I can uh, change my title name here if I want to um, type in sales. And uh, these are my uh, sales data. If you didn't know how to do that, well, now you know how to do it. Uh, next, we'll be talking about uh, percent change.